Welcome back to another Advanced Game Maker Studio tutorial. And if you always wanted to do the get over here move, well, you can do this after, well, this tutorial because this is how you can actually do this. So you throw this kunai, get stuck, and pull it towards to you. Of course, you can cheese it a little bit. So I <laughs> made it a little bit more. Uh, well, flexible concerning this kind of stuff and of course you can move around so if you wanted to know how to do that in game maker studio the i guess the easiest way possible i could conjure up stay tuned this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky souls and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you are new here and you want more consider subscribing to my channel because i try to upload every second day or every day a video and now I'm on my second day and share my stuff if you can because that would be pretty sweet. So let's get right into the good stuff because there's quite a few things going on. So the setup is pretty uh, simple. You have this player guy, he can move around and then he's just pressing the left mouse button, throws this kunai, it will get stuck in another object which is predefined by that. So bam, it gets stuck and then just so you can actually see some stuff, you see like bam, 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 kind of a line of dots is being drawn. And this is, of course, a quite easy thing as well. And then if you press the right mouse button, the kunai um, well, flies back to the player and gets destroyed, plus the barrel. But the barrel, once it's hitting the player, it's just uh, okay and slows down. So this is how you can do this so you understand the whole process behind it. So what you see, I have just this player guy and this bearer and this bearer is actually not real, I'm sorry. So this is just part of the tile set. Only this barrel is real, so don't get confused by that. Um, so let's get right into the player because for now only you need to know two things in the create event. So this is kind of handy because the Kuna is a little bit more advanced. You have a variable which says can throw. So once you are throwing your kunai or your whatever uh, scorpion is actually thrown, but I guess it's, it's a kunai with a rope attached. And then, well, you save the ID of the kunai so, and therefore you can control it. So this is the player for its create event. And then if you go into the step event, a few things happen. So the first thing you can do is just saying, hey, can you actually throw your it says yes and you press your left mouse button bam what we do we first of all say hey now you you are throwing one and therefore you cannot do this so we uh, kind of stop him from spamming that of course if you wanted to have that then there are workarounds for this so you can have multiple ropes and kunais and so on but this is just for a single target and a single kunai so this is the easiest way i could conjure up so therefore once again we do instance create on the X and Y position of, or the position you want. And then we spawn this kunai, which is flying towards a direction. And what kind of direction is it? Well, the point direction between your start position. So the X and Y of the player and the mouse. Of course, there are other ways, but this is, I guess, the easiest way to understand because now I am, um, we go into here, we're having the player X and Y. And then, for example, your mouse is somewhere here and there, or for example, somewhere here. Then it, it gains the direction. It knows where to fly to because in, I'm just saying, hey, take this direction and store it into the kunai created and as well as the image angle. So it well, um, is correct. So as you can see, this is centered in the middle. For example, if you are aiming up, the direction plus the image angle would correctly rotate that thing so this is the good part and then the last thing what i do or almost the last thing i just say hey give it a speed of course you can do it a little bit faster let's go for four so it looks a little bit more dramatic let's go for five oh why not and then the last thing i want to save the id of the instance which created soft the kuna which is flying to so before that it was no one so it's it is, didn't store anything but here, what you get in the end is an ID and therefore I want to store it. And then, for example, now we go into the can throw is false. 
And then for example, if we are pressing the right mouse button, plus the ID is not a no one, so we actually have thrown one, but we can say pull to this Q9 and set it to true. Why is that? Because um, once the thing is just flying here, it gets stuck and then we say pull and then it flies back and the barrel as well. So this is the idea behind it. So you understand the whole coding. So let's go into the kunai because this one is a little bit more complex. There are a few things. So first of all, there are two variables of uh, its state. They are separate. I don't didn't have, for example, a state. Then state is fault pulled because I use them for different kind of purposes. Therefore, I have two variables. So first of all, I have stuck. So it's flying and then it gets stuck in the barrel. So it just has a collision with a and it's checking for a collision and just saying, hey, are you already stuck? And if it's not, you are. Then, of course, we don't want it to fly anymore. And therefore, we just say and give its speed a zero value. And then we get a second ID, which is the ID of the barrel, which is kind of important. Therefore, I say other ID. So we're getting a collision with the barrel and then we're getting its ID as well, because now we need to later on um, translate that for well, taking back the QNI itself. So it flies back and plus the barrel as well. This is the collision with the barrel. What else? For example, here I just have a little fail safe. So for example, uh, let's start it again. Because maybe you didn't hit the barrel and it is flying off. And for example, if you didn't have this fail safe, well, it would go into infinity and then you can never throw another one. So therefore, I just have a specific uh, length and if it's not hitting the target, it destroys itself. But for example, it's getting stuck. Well, then it is valid. Let's kill that. So how can you actually do this? quite uh, easy. So for example, the default state is that it's flying and it's not stuck and it's not being pulled. So it's not stuck, not pulled. And then you're just saying, all right, and here you need to understand how to get a distance between two points. So it's original point and then the player X and Y position. And for example, if it's flying and flying, this variable line length getting bigger and bigger and then for example it's still not stuck and then at some point it's checking hey is this length which we are already all the time checking which is getting bigger and bigger is it bigger than the max uh, maximum value which I set up as 200 okay and then if you know we just say hey then destroy the kunai because it's flying off it's useless to us and for example in our destroy event here we just reset the player say hey you can throw another one because well the first one was a dart and the idea which we saved we reset to no one because well it is again nothing and then for example the player can throw again and again and again this is how it works and maybe now we come to some more interesting things so the step event here um now, for example, we are in the state that this thing is stuck. And then, for example, we are pressing the right mouse button. And then once maybe you remember this, but let's go fast back. So for example, we just said, hey, right mouse button. And we say, hey, pull. So we can actually pull it back. And this is the interesting part. Um, then it will um, pull back. But for example, you could do this before you actually get stuck and therefore this is not a complete uh, failsafe system. For example, here, now you get an error. So only use this, for example, if you're really um, well, in green water. So just do this. Um, yeah, for example, we can actually get and make this let's do this on the fly because why not for example here we're getting the target id do, 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 and the player and just saying hey of this id which we are saving here so this is the green eye if it is uh let's make a fail save here so for example what we are doing here so the save id it's not no one and 
um, the kunai which we are throwing so for example we are throwing we are in the middle of it and then the target id is not equal to no one bam and now it actually will work that was actually too easy <laughs> so let's go into here so we are throwing okay no problem we are throwing and right mouse button ah, i'm too fast yep as you can see it does work so for example it would it is just ignoring my uh, command so i'm throwing that thing there's no error of course this is an out of range works so this is how you can actually do it you're just checking multiple things a little bit cumbersome but it does work it does the trick so for example now we are stuck and we want to pull and this pull of course is only there if we are actually getting stuck so this is the interesting part from the player so this is how it works and now we are saying hey we want the target so the barrel actually which we're hitting let's give it some speed and let's give it a direction with which is your own so of the kunai and the player so we are going now from this position on we are checking hey uh -huh. then we want actually to position between here and posi uh, position between here and here what the hell was that so slow um and therefore we're just getting a direction and then it will actually fly in the direction because now we are just getting it from the kunai to the player which is the other way around therefore it's flying towards the player and what you saw for example once we started again you saw that uh, that thing was kind of following the player because it is so for example what you see here it is trying to follow up and then after a collision bam it is not doing it so here once again we say hey let the barrel fly with a speed of four and constantly in the direction of the player because we kind of have a rope and therefore it dynamically changes the direction because it is the speed of course it's not changing and of course we have our own speed of the kunai which we are throwing and the direction basically the same code so basically we are applying the same stuff twice once for itself and then for the thing which is following so this is the interesting part and for example once we're hitting the player well the in the kunai is being destroyed and for example once the barrel is actually um being uh set without the kunai i have a little thing which is kind of uh, easy so for example once the speed is all the time bigger than let's say 0 0.1 we just uh so 10 percent uh, 0 0.1 doesn't really matter so 0 0.1 then we reduce it all the time and some point for example if it is we set it to zero and sweet now for example here all the time it was four 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 because we were in this pull state and therefore even though maybe it the barrel wants to reduce it it's gonna get reset every time to four to four to four and therefore you had this follow-up thing and yeah and for example once uh, we're hitting with the barrel the barrel actually is kind of unique so it just follows up it just tries to reduce it's i kill you because you're not needed and this is basically it so once again to recap that thing so you see that in full motion so i have the player i'm pressing the left mouse button i'm just checking with the kunai which i'm throwing they so say hey i cannot throw one and then i'm check just checking inside the length Okay, if you are going to to white, we reset it and then you can throw another one. And for example, once we are throwing one, we are getting stuck here. And then for example, once we are stuck here, we can press the right mouse button because now it only works. And then we giving the kunai and the barrel some speed. So they go in the, in the direction of the player. And for example, once the kunai is gone, the barrel tries to reduce its speed and now it can and therefore it stops at some point and this is how it works and of course if you do it like this therefore you can actually cheese that thing because it's kind of throwing so as you can see bam, this is it and how can you actually do the last part which are those uh, what, points here this is just for you so you understand but of course you can do some sprites so it looks like a hook shot from uh, i guess zelda 
and how can you do this and this is quite easy you just have to draw and there you do some calculations which aren't too difficult per se so first of all you draw the cuna itself over it and then you need to have the distance between the player to yourself and this distance to point just says hey how much distance I'm having from my side from my uh, X and Y position to the positions you're putting in here and this is the, the, the player X and Y and then with this distance I'm just saying hey check and do something like this because now first of all we need a direction where to put stuff in and second of all we need um, points on a line and this is for example if you go into here for example we are net first of all we needing the direction and we need for example the current coordinate of this point and of this point and of this point how can i do this well i just have a loop which i divide by 20 pieces so 20 times i am drawing a circle and that circle is getting started at the object object player x and y and plus and this is the the way how you get the extra coordinates for example the first point will be here this one and then this and this and this and this and depending how big that is and how can you actually do that and you just go with length here so it, ah, so it actually looks better so first of all you need a start position object player x and y position and then the length dear x or length dear y i have a bigger video on this one so if you're not sure about this one i put it used it quite a lot in my advanced laser tutorial or other ones so if you're unsure link in the description below and here you need to input two things first of all your length and and this i this uh, got already because this is the distance between well the player and itself which is i guess 300 200 something like this and it doesn't really matter and then i divided by 20 times i so first of all the first one will be 120th then the other one will be 220th and so on and so on and therefore you get all the points dynamically uh, stretching each time so for example they are just 20 points and depending how long the distance is it will stretch automatically which is a neat thing in itself and then of course we need the direction to go to and that we get by well, the direction from the player to our x and y position and bam and then the last thing because we're just drawing circles so first of all we need our x position our y position a little bit long to get but this is the way it is and then for example three pixels wide and then i guess a lime no outline and bam and this is how it works and this is how you get this dotted line with 20 of those points this is how it works hopefully uh, it wasn't too difficult to understand uh, there i didn't uh, well couldn't get an easier version because well this is the easiest one i could conjure up in let's say in a few minutes so therefore we are already almost 20 minutes in hopefully you enjoyed this and you can do the get over here thing by yourselves now have a good one one up indie